Oh, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good week. Um, uh, Monday sucks, but we got a good story, right? This is what happened when we brought the Taco Bell worker, random Taco Bell worker we never met to the party, right? He went off. He would. It was funny. So let me talk about that, right? So like five, six months ago, let's go actually six to seven months ago, like October, September-ish, right? We get word that there's a party. One of our friends had a party, right? He wasn't able to go, but he let us know. Maybe that wasn't the case. Maybe we found it on one of those people's stores, you know, where it's like um, the posters and it's like, bring your own beer, bring your own. I don't know exactly how we found the party, right? But my friend that I was living with, he found the party. He's like, we're going to this party for whatever the occasion was, right? I was like, bet. I don't remember if it was like a Halloween type thing or if... um. I think it was because I'm pretty sure there was a girl in a costume there, but I could be wrong. I, I'm pretty sure it was a Halloween party, though. And uh, before we went, we were like, we should get Taco Bell. We should eat. You know what I mean? And we go to Taco Bell and there's a kid there that seems pretty chill. You know what I mean? Like he's got the stoner vibe. He's got long hair and he's just like, yeah, man, you know, like he's just chilling. So uh, I can't remember whose idea it was. It was probably my friend. But we were like, yo, we should invite this dude to come to the party. You know what I mean? So it's like, we're like, yo, you should come to the party, you know, and we give him the details. I think my friend gave him a snap. Like we can, we got the info and we were like, pull up to this party. Right. And he's like, he's like, I'll bring hella weed, bro. I'll bring over an ounce. I'll bring two ounces. I'll bring my friend, you know? And we're like, don't get, don't get robbed. You know what I mean? Don't be, don't bring like a shit ton of shit. Bring weed. We love weed. Right. We're like, that's awesome. Right. So we go to this party and I I honestly, I wasn't thinking about him too much after that because we had a uh, case of White Claws that we brought and I knew I didn't have to drive back. So I was like, I'm getting fucked up. But also the thinking of like, if you and your friend are both drinking, one of you has to drive and it, but it, it doesn't matter, right? We, we weren't worried about that. We were worried about having a good time, right? And now I will say, I've been in a lot of different environments, some sketchy, some not. This was not sketchy, anything like that, just... I'd never met anybody besides my friend and that one Taco Bell kid that was on the way, right? So I know nobody. I'm an anxious person when it comes to those kinds of things. But for some reason, we were just sitting at this little table, just pounding these white claws, right? And I started I started feeling kind of good, right? I was like, I could maybe talk to some of these girls, right? And I've talked about this party a tiny bit in another story because there's a part you should recognize in here. If you don't, it's fine. But it, it's funny. I've said it before. So... Right. I start smoking, doing whatever. I remember we went out back, right? Smoking, hanging out. And um, we were we met these other kids, too, that we were hanging out with. I cannot remember any of their names or what they did or anything, but they were just Florida kids. Right. And we explained how, like, we moved here from Chicago, you know, and not from Chicago, but from Illinois. And you, you know what I say? It's hard to explain. Like we moved from this little town 40 minutes away. But when you're just standing at the party, like move from Chicago, you know what I mean? Move from Illinois, whatever. So we're talking to these kids hanging out, right? Everybody's starting, eh, starting to go back inside, right? These girls are twerking. Like, they are going off, right? I'm fine with it. That's fine by me. I just know I'm the type of person that's not going to get in the mix of that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be receiving these girls fucking booties bouncing. You know what I mean? I'm just standing in the back watching. I'm like, damn, okay. I get it. It's nice, right? They got the music going. People are jumping. Like, it, it was cool, right? I look to my right. Taco Bell kids getting a fucking little lap dance shake, right? Like he's got a girl backed up on him and she's all like, she's all like, mm, 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 mm. and this dude with the long hair, right? It's just standing there. I'm like, damn, Taco Bell, Taco Bell's going off. Like, fuck, like, that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? But <laughs> what are you going to do? I remember a little bit later in the night, right? There was a girl that kept reaching up in a cabinet and I kept looking at her randomly. Like, what's she trying to do? What's she trying to grab? And I just kept ignoring it, right? Later on in the night, that same girl, she's walking in front of me at this party, right? She's drunk as fuck. I can still remember this. I don't know how the fuck I remember this. She had blue pants on. I can't remember the shirt or top or anything like that, but she had these bright blue pants on, dude. She just walked up to me and she went like that. I shit you know, she looked right at me. She was like, hey, she's like, hey. And she just started backing her ass up into me. And I was like, fuck. Like, I, I didn't get into it, but I also didn't push away from it. You know, I was like, this is what's happening fuck yeah like well, i'm cool with this <laughs> then i met up with the taco bell kid again i was like are you having a good time he's like i'm having a good time i was like that's good bro that was funny as fuck and i remember um also when we went back outside 
I can't remember the scenario if we had a blunt, but we didn't have a lighter, or if we just didn't have weed, or what the case was. But I'm pretty sure that other kid brought weed. But eventually, there became a point where this other group of kids was smoking a blunt that we were not involved in, right? We wanted to get involved, because of course you want to hit the blunt. So we start talking to these kids, and they I think some of them were the kids from earlier that we were talking to where we were from and shit. And I remember grabbing this blunt and I was so excited to hit it because I was kind of drunk but like I love getting high that's my that's my love you know what I mean so I was like I can finally get high I remember hitting that thing dude and it was soaking wet just soaking wet and that's fucking disgusting I hate that shit how are you gonna do that like honestly the only unless you're licking your lips and then just like how the fuck are you getting it all wet and gross I hate that shit but you know everybody not everybody but everybody's fucking If there's a group of people, someone's gonna do it, and it's fucking, I hate that shit. But, like, like I say, what the fuck are you gonna do? (laughs) So, a little bit later happens, right? We were killing these White Claws. We had, like, I think it was only, I think we only got a 12 case or something like that, but we had, like, yeah, like, six each, right? Then we have to go back, and I remember the car ride being a little, a little, you know, hmm. But we made it back, it was good, it was funny, right? But fuck dude imagine this imagine just a normal day you're going to taco bell right so we pull up to taco bell in the window this random dude just looks like a stoner so we're like come to this party right and then flash forward like four or five hours you're like pretty drunk and you look to your right and you see that taco bell worker getting a fucking lap dance going like that is beautiful that is the definition of life that is awesome mingling and everything i fucking love it like that's hilarious bro and smoking the blunts that was also the party um i'm actually not too sure about this so don't quote me on it but this could have also been the party where that bigger girl was like can i hit your nicotine and i told her i had a girlfriend or i was gay or some shit i was like no like there was a group of us just standing there and she was like can i hit your nicotine i was just so did not want to say yes that i said anything i could i was like nah 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 nah. i got a girlfriend i I had a boyfriend no 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 fuck off you know no don't put your lips on my nicotine but my nicotine no (laughs) <laughs> I was not having it. I hate that shit. Like, I don't got a problem. I've let, like, I let random people hit my nicotine sometimes. But especially with COVID and, like, I'm not going to lie, it's going to sound a little messed up. But if a really hot girl is going to ask me, like, can I hit your nicotine? Of course you can. Of course you can. But, like, not if you scare me with your appearance. I know that's mean. That's mean. But, fuck, that's kind of funny. So, <laughs> I think a lot of people are like that. Although, there are some people that probably did not find me attractive although let me hit their nicotine so i appreciate that i remember this one time dude i was leaving a party and there were kids standing out front and i had a blunt that didn't have weed in it it was just a normal ass blunt dude and i was smoking it like for nicotine because i didn't have this on me i didn't have like whatever nicotine device i just was smoking like the swishers but like plain swishers no weed in it and i was smoking out front and this kid's like can i hit that man can i hit that and i said yeah and i knew he thought it was weed i just didn't say a word dude and you should be able to tell if you smoke every day or at least occasionally you would know that that isn't weed in there this kid's just puffing it like oh this is good man this is good i'm like i didn't say anything but i'm like buddy's smoking straight tobacco right now but fuck what are you gonna do but all right that's all for this story um i gotta go see the puppy take her to the vet and shit so i'm sure there'll be another puppy video of course hope everyone has a good day good week tune in for the stories because we're gonna have good ones i'm gonna try to make the titles a little better and appreciate all the fucking views and subs that shit's actually awesome and like i've said before if there was like 400 people like all the subs i've had and i don't even like saying that because it's like you're like you're not even thinking about it as people you guys are all fucking people and i love it like if i if there was 400 people waiting to see me talk about a story i'd be flipping out so like that's crazy and i love that shit so thank you and we're just gonna keep going up keep making videos i gotta do something cool though i gotta do something funny like i gotta get like a neck tat or something have that be a video you know or eat like you know those one chip challenges i gotta eat like fucking five of them or something or try to beat the fucking red bull world record do something man because I do, you know, I appreciate so much everybody watching. I want to do something a little wild, a little funny, where you're like, damn, okay. So, with that being said, everyone have a good day. Peace out, be safe, get high, whatever.